What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today the Into the Light free DLC has just gone live for Destiny 2, and with it comes the Whisper Exotic mission reintroduced from years and years ago. Upon completing this exotic mission, you will actually get the craftable version of the Whisper of the Worm exotic snipe rifle. Now if you want to know how to do all that, I just put out a video on how to complete that Whisper mission in 2024. For, check it out, it's linked up above. But once you do acquire the Craftable Whisper, you can actually significantly improve it even this first week. So in this video, we're going to be showcasing how to go and actually get uh, some upgraded versions of the intrinsic perk, how to get the exotic catalyst for it, as well as how to get the first main perk, and it's actually field prep, which is going to massively improve your power with that weapon. And so, let's get started. Now, after you've completed the Whisper mission and you're turning in the exotic quest given to you by Eris Morn, the second after she gives you your craftable Whisper, she's actually going to give you another exotic quest, Whispers of the Taken. The first step is to defeat Taken combatants and collect their Taken essence. And you can do this anywhere. I simply went to the Dreaming City, to the Lost Sector, absolutely filled with Taken. And as you can see, I just kill them. And then pretty quickly, I'm going to complete complete this quest step and my quest is going to update. And the next step is going to say, destroy the first set of Taken Blights in the exotic mission The Whisper on Legend difficulty. So go ahead and restart that Whisper mission, change the difficulty to Legend and load in. Now almost immediately upon loading in guys, uh, as you head a little bit forward, you're going to get to that cliffside. Now from here, as you can see, you can actually see these Taken Blights, but importantly, they're actually immune to every other weapon except the Whisper. So you will need to bring in your Whisper Snipe Rifle, and with that, as you can see, you can actually shoot this Taken Blight. However, there's going to be three of these Taken Blights in total. The first one you saw me shoot, uh, the second one you're going to see me shoot right about now, and then the third one is kind of in the back here, it's a little bit hard to see, but there it is right here, and after you shoot all three of these Blights, then your quest is actually going to update again, and now the step is to just complete this mission on Legend difficulty. So do not like do the Legend Whisper too early because then if you're lagging behind on this quest step, you're gonna have to do it again, but I digress. Now just after this part, like just after the location in which you have shot these Taken Blights, I actually have an important secret for you guys to further upgrade your Whisper. So as you can see right here, guys, once you drop down and you're into that kind of Vex area of the Whisper mission, you actually head over here to the left around this corner. And then there is a glowing object above a dead Vex body. And as you can see, you can shoot this object. Now, very strangely, you can see that we shoot this object and I get nothing but my teammate actually gets white nail two, three, and four, which is absolutely crazy. Now, of course, white nail is the actual intrinsic perk of the Whisper of the Worm, and previously when we would have these exotic missions, such as the missions for the Revision Zero Exotic Pulse Rifle or the Wishkeeper Exotic Bow, every single week you would actually get like another uh, level for your intrinsic perk. But things are about to get so much weirder. So it turns out the reason my teammate got these upgrades and the other two of us did not is because my teammate actually got the killing blow on this object. So as you can see right here, we loaded it up again and I made sure to be the only one shooting this and then I get some upgrades to my intrinsic perks, but I just get White Nail 2 and White Nail 3. So my teammate got White Nail 4, I did not. And by the way, my other teammate loaded it up by himself on normal difficulty, so you don't need to be on legend difficulty, you just might as well shoot this thing on your way uh, while doing this other stuff, but you can do it on either difficulty, and he got intrinsic perk rank 2 and then 1. So. Again, it seems to be completely random. Like, whoever gets the final blow is going to get one or more of a random new intrinsic perk for your Whisper. 
Now, importantly, upon coming back, because I was thinking, oh, I shot it once, I got three, maybe I can, you know, load back in, shoot it, and get another one. No, as you can see, it's just gone. So likely this will replenish uh, every single week, and this is going to be how you get, like, the upgraded different versions of your intrinsic perk that will allow you to unlock more perk slot options and customization for your Whisper. Honestly, it might be glitched because, you know, again, giving my teammate like all three of them and then giving me only one and giving my other teammate a completely different one seems incredibly weird for how to do this. But regardless, that's going to be how you upgrade your intrinsic perk. Now, as for the actual legend difficulty of the Whisper mission, an important thing to note is that you're only going to have 20 minutes compared to the like 36 minutes you had in the normal version. So you will need to be a lot quicker when it comes to getting through these jumping puzzles as well as dispatching the enemies. The enemies are definitely going to be tougher. Importantly, there is actually a uh, burn in this. It's void burn, so you're going to take more void damage. This may rotate from week to week, but just keep that in mind. Make sure to uh, change the resistance mods on your chest pieces accordingly. But once you get to uh, the final boss fight here, guys, it's the same mechanics as it otherwise was. I should note, however, that we summoned all three bosses at once and got a triumph for doing so, so keep that in mind. But once you defeat that final boss and open that chest on Legend difficulty, you will get, as you can see, the Whisper of the Worm Exotic Catalyst. And this is kind of an important piece of information because I already had this exotic catalyst, right? I have an original whisper with the original catalyst from years and years ago, but I still need to do the legend difficulty version of the whisper mission to get kind of the new version. It's not actually any different. It still does the same thing. We're aiming this weapon without firing for a brief moment, grants bonus range and precision damage while it remains zoomed, but I need this version to actually put on my craftable version. Now, aside from that, as you also complete this exotic mission, as long as you went and found uh, those Taken Blights earlier, then you will complete the exotic quest from Eris Morn, and it will prompt you to go back to the moon, so you talk to Eris Morn, and then as you can see, she just outright gives you field prep for this weapon. And so, going back, you can now put on whatever intrinsic perk you actually got, uh, then you can put on field prep as well as the catalyst, and you're going to get a new, improved, and pretty insane version of the Whisper of the Worm. With field prep, as you can see right here, I have 28 rounds in reserves, and I don't have any solar reserves armor mods on, so this is going to output so much more damage than the original version. And so guys, that is gonna be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis, that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.